Hi, it's Jay from National Compressor Exchange, and today we're going to show you how to change the oil filter on a train CHHP screw compressor. Come on, let's take a look. So here, like always, on a uh, any compressor you're working on, make sure it's isolated from the system, and there is no uh, gas or pressure still inside the compressor. The next step is removing uh, the plate where the oil filter is housed. Before you uh, loosen the bolts up, you want to remove the plug. So there's an O-ring behind it. And at this point, potentially, could be, if you're in the field and you're doing this, there could be some oil that's gonna come out. Make sure you have something to catch it so you don't get it all over the place. Next, you wanna take a 19 millimeter socket because it's metric. There you go. So you'll see uh, the plate has the gasket stuck on it. Like I always say in most of our videos, if you're removing something uh, that has the gasket on, you're gonna wanna make sure you remove that, clean it before you put the new gasket on. Uh, you might have to scrape it off because they do sometimes really do stick on. This one is, see it's leaving residual. Um, and you wanna make sure you get that all off because if you don't, when you put the new gasket on, it can help facilitate a leak. Now here's the oil filter. You wanna take two screwdrivers or some scrapers to get in there and pull forward. And then once you do, and there you go, there's the oil filter. Um, besides cleaning the plate, you're obviously gonna wanna clean the face here, make sure there's no gasket material left, it's nice and clean, and you're good to go. If you look all the way back there in the back, you'll see a little metal cylinder, and that is this valve. It's the oil um, cartridge uh, lock valve. This is what it looks like if you took it out. It would, it's screwed in the back. If you're just changing the oil filter, you do not need to change it. But it's good to take a look at this because that's what's back there and that's when you put the new oil filter on, which is an FLR 03434. Here's a nice brand new one. It's gonna slide over this. So that's why it's good to put a little bit of oil on here to help facilitate it sliding on easier because it is a bit of a snug fit as you'll see when we install it later. Okay, so now we're ready to put the uh, oil filter in. You can see we cleaned up the face. It's nice and free of debris. I'd recommend putting a little coat of oil on the O-ring like we talked about earlier. Put it in, line it upright. You'll kind of feel that it's on there. And then you're gonna wanna push in. And you can see it snaps in. It's gonna have to be recessed past the face of this. Obviously, if it's sticking too far, it's not all the way in and it could prevent it from sealing properly. Next, you're gonna take your uh, plate that we also clean up the face of so it's free of debris. You're gonna take your gasket which is a GKT 30352. You can take this, put it on. Also, we recommend a very light coat of oil on this just to help uh, it seal. Right. Now, the other thing to note is that that fitting that you took out is gonna be down at six o'clock. Put all your bolts back in. Then you're going to want to torque this 19 millimeter bolt to 86 foot pounds. Then uh, when you're done, you put your plug back in. I'd put a uh, new O-ring on, put a little oil, and then you can put it in. The one thing to note is when you're putting the cover plate on, when you're starting to tie, tie in the first few bolts, it's recommended that you hold the plate up a little bit because if it sits down too low, it's going to prevent, this bolt's going to kind of sit a little too close and prevent the plug from going in. Tighten this up. Nice and snug. You just changed uh, the filter on a CHHP train screw compressor.